Okay. Uh, the Finance Committee is in session. And the first item of business uh, is approving the minutes of last week's meeting. Bruce, any? Uh, yeah, we have one change. Um, minutes of last meeting should be March instead of February. <coughs> or to approve the previous meeting minutes. Okay. So where it says February 28th, that should, <coughs> should be March, be March 28th. Yeah. Okay. Do you have copies of the minutes? Uh, no, I don't. But that's that's okay. There's there are two here. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, sorry. Um, Smith Folk is a dollar. That was a. Uh, that's, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Yep. Okay. We have, <clears throat> and and we talked we talked or I talked with Brenda about. Putting a dollar in for Smith vote, dollar in for transportation, and a dollar in for special ed. And Brenda said it's not needed; just one entry one is dollar. fine. Okay. Yes, we <clears throat> just think we don't want to eliminate the line item because if Correct. somebody transfers mid-year. Well, if we if it ends up with a with the student, we've yes. got an account number. To well, use. between now and September, yes. Okay. Uh, any. Any other? <clears throat> I'll move the minutes as amended Second. with that one correction. <clears throat> Second. So, your motion to accept the minutes as corrected. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Abstain. Abstain. So, 12401. And uh, there is, as I understand it, one change to the to this budget here. We eliminated. What is it? We ended up eliminating, or you eliminated that was in here. The planner. No, the planner's still here, right? Unfortunately. It's hard to say. We didn't do, we hadn't voted capital stabilization or slow and ice. We, we no. eliminated the, what you just talked about, oh, okay. the no, vocational school. So we have, we have the planning position, which we looked at last week and decided that we weren't going to address, and the plan our expenses, so just so that everybody's clear. Board of Health Expenses, same, de same deal there. We have two items on the back page that we did not address. Capital stabilization, in large measure, because we wasn't clear to all of us here, at least, or at least wasn't, wasn't clear to me, what our position, financial position was relative to free cash. Uh, that information is here, and if you wanted, want to, we can take a few minutes to go over that, <coughs> and then we can look at these. This is the revenue detail sheet. Pardon. Revenue detail sheet? Uh, actually, take a look at the summary sheet and then we can yep. reference the detail. So, Skip, can I just ask you, are you using that April 3rd, 2018 ref summary? No. You have a newer one? Yes, oh. April 10th. And there are copies here, so. Okay. There are two of those and then there are two of these. All right. And the and the date on this is April tenth too. Do you have that? Is yours April tenth? Yes. Okay. I yeah, have that. I, I just got, I, I picked that, that up too. today, but that's all I had. Okay. So. I got that today. Uh, when I came in earlier. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so we've got revenues <clears throat> available. Revenues, I guess. That will, that will be used for the budgeting process. Property taxes, cherry sheets. I'm not sure that, uh, and, it, and if you take a look on the revenue detail,
it does give you both the state, local receipts, and the state and county expenses or data in total. So I don't know if anyone has any questions. <coughs> For example, Chapter 70, you've got 1.1 million. Charter school reimbursement, 21,000. Unrestricted general government aid, slightly less than a half a million. Veterans benefits, uh, exemptions and state-owned land, grand total of 1,729,000. Uh, I know. And then this, the charges below that, total of 292,000. Well, and the net, 1,436,000. It's available to us for meeting town expenses next year. It's about, and it's 3,017 dollars more than last year? That's this is also projected this is also the governor's budget yeah so the house hasn't we don't have the house budget we haven't seen the senate budget we haven't seen the compromise budget which is the one that will go back and get signed by the governor so those will change this is an estimate it's our best best guess at this yep. point usually i think it's safe to say usually it's never been less than whatever is here <coughs> We also have local receipts. These are also estimates. And these will end up being adjusted somewhat mm -hmm. by the assessors when the recap is done last, next fall. And this is the one that we are very conservative on. The anticipation would be that the total would be about $2.2 .2 million thereabouts. So we're using $1.7 million, so we're mm -hmm. half, a, half a million less. Yep. So we actually we should expect really to see half a million more. Yeah, looking back, we don't have, um, if you look back at 2015 and go forward to 2018, we were increasing, and then we decreased in 18. Now we're back to the level of 2017. Yeah, these these are again they're no, all they're not estimates. averages. They're, they're all estimates. All estimates. These are all estimates. So we're estimating 119 thousand dollars more, more than, than last, last year. year. That's all. Yeah. Two. Be interesting to know what the actuals were. That's what I was wondering. Uh, I, mean, I don't know if four or five those. years later we should have the numbers. Well, uh, we do. The I've got those somewhere, yeah. and I don't know whether I've got them here or. Aren't the recaps the actuals? Is it, am I missing something here? Pardon? The recaps should be the actuals. It is not. They're I don't not. Believe. I mean, to have round numbers, it seems like wouldn't be. But yeah, these are these are all estimates. These were the estimates that were used in the budgeting process, as I understand it. And if I can't yeah. find those here tonight, then I will get them to you and send them out to you, I'll email them to you tomorrow. Is that true for the state and county cherry sheet revenues? No. Are, they, are they what they use? I believe the, those are the actual numbers. Those are the actuals. Yeah. Top, yeah. <clears throat> I say I believe those are the actual numbers. I'm not. The alternative would be that these are the house the numbers, but I don't believe that's the case. I think those are, because these house. will change that. FY 2019 will change when, as we get the House and then the Senate numbers and then the compromise budget. But we won't have those until uh, probably July. Allowances for abatement overlay. Uh, that's that's just an estimate. The assessors will indicate what they need with the recap. So again, this is an estimate. 
local receipts, other funding sources. If you look on the back of this revenue detail is a list of all of the other funding sources. Other accounts, sewer revenue and free cash? I don't understand, yeah, yeah, but I don't understand why we use sewer revenue. Since that's only specific to a small portion of the population. Okay, where are you looking at? Reven the revenue Back detail, page. page two. Sends out the bills. We have nothing in 19. Because it's, it's zero this year. Where are we? Well, be which line? Which it's, line? Are, but this, uh, this is the information on what. Someplace along the way, we will end up using it, but it will not be within within the budget. But we'll be on town meeting. The expenses aren't on here either. No, no, they aren't. So that's this is the money we. Was, re yeah. Last year was on because it was a, it wasn't a, it was a revenue account or something. Mm -hmm. This year. We're going to vote to make an enterprise fund. Mm -hmm. So Correct. it's going to come off the sheet, revenue sheet, completely. Yes. So that's why it's zero currently. Yeah. Um, I. Because I, the delta is, shouldn't be should be zero also. Well, yeah, but it went down from from last year. That's all. Okay. By the form. <laughs> I don't think they know what they're doing. Yeah. I, I, you wasn't matching question and answer correct. <laughs> yeah, I don't, no, know why were, I don't know why they retained, retained earnings from last year. I, mean, I, don't, year. I don't see why it's on the sheet from the past Last years. year, but that's last year. Yeah. The uh, sewer? Yeah. Because it wasn't an enterprise fund last year. And, it, and this is actually the current year, FY18. It's not an enterprise fund. Yeah. But it's not money that we use. I guess it is. Cause well, yeah, it's a it, worn out Right. It, it is a Warren article. Okay. I'm not you. exactly, right, not exactly sure what that looks like this year. But yep. some places going to be a Warren article gotcha. somewhere. Okay. Uh, free cash. The first number again, the revenue detail. The first number, one million eight hundred and twenty-four thousand, is the certified free cash. Uh, free cash withheld. Actually, dropped to the to the one where it says free cash net. That one million five hundred and thirty-eight thousand two hundred and sixty-five dollars is the projection of free cash that we're going to need to balance the budget. Right. So that's so that's the number that's on the revenue side of this sheet. Wow. <clears throat> so the grand total. Revenue sixteen million one hundred and sixteen thousand one sixty six. Again, not including uh, the uh, wastewater treatment plant sewers service expenses. The omnibus budget articles fourteen million seven hundred one thousand and change. Warrant articles voted separately, including the capital requests. One million four hundred and fourteen thousand four hundred and thirty five dollars. And then you've got the detail of the capital requests uh, as the last item. And and the twenty six thousand dollars for the roadside mower is in there and you will notice there is a $26,000 roadside mower fund uh, on other funding sources. So it's, the, it's what's in that re, uh, revolving fund now. And then the 26000 that we will spend. So it's Which a, doesn't include any repair costs, any revenue from the towns? They have an agreement. Well, they have an agreement for sharing the repair costs or whoever damages it has to pay for the repair. Yeah, just standard maintenance to it. What? It has to be general maintenance to the lawnmower. We get, maintenance. Yeah, it's the, we get to keep it when it's all I know, but who, yeah. we're, it's not in anybody's budget unless it's in the highway budget. It's in the highway it budget. Be in the highway budget. 
and, and don't ask me to, to nope. what it is. That's fine. I don't know. The only thing I missed, Skip, was when you said that it was going to take um, one million five thirty-eight to uh, free cash to balance the budget. Did you? Is it noted on the budget summary? Anyway. Yeah, just take take a look. If you look I at the it. oh, I see. It. I think I'm going down there. Okay, if you take a look at where it says on this this side. Yep. It's this single sheet. Mm -hmm. The summary. I got it. You've got the expenses, and they're broken. The operating, uh, the omnibus budget mm -hmm. expenses, warrant articles, including capital requests. Those two figures add up to sixteen million one hundred and sixteen thousand one hundred and sixty six dollars. Gotcha. And then at the top, the revenues, you've got property taxes, including any debt service, cherry sheet revenues, the overlay reserve, that's taken that's being taken out. So that's a negative number. Other local receipts, other <coughs> funding sources, and again, I told you, I mentioned the other funding sources are listed here. And then free cash or other accounts. The other accounts, the $1,130, that's the Dickinson uh, Trust Fund. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the grand total. So free cash, we need $1,538,265 to pay for all of these. The totals in the expense side of the budget are the requested figures. Mm -hmm. All right. Any nope. other questions? Any questions? We should be able to go from this sheet to this sheet somehow. Yeah, well, you can. You can. You can. Okay. No okay. This, is, this is the omnibus budget. Okay. And, <coughs> okay. and there's no total on this sheet, though. Is there? Yeah. There is. Yeah. What, is what page is it? Page four. On page four. One, 14 million seven hundred one thousand seven hundred thirty-one. That's the omnibus budget. Yeah. And then if you look down, you have $1,414,435. There's the warrant articles voted separately. That's yeah. the total for that. Okay, so you have, but They're total together, there's right. no one total on this. Right. Show. Yeah, there's no, there isn't that's, on that's this. That's fine. Okay. That's what I was missing. Yeah. Thank you. That's all right. That's confused, this. confused me last, <laughs> there's a slight change to this from last no. week. Yeah, that's it, fine. Just this for clarification. Yep, so makes sense, sir. It's okay. That's and okay. then if you look on where it says detail of capital okay. requests, the one piece that's okay. that was bothering me last time also, but 349895 that's the capital capital improvement mm -hmm. committees. Yep. Add to that 26000 for the roadside mower. Yep. Brings you up to $375,895. And that was the number that was on here. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, so yeah. the uh, got it. Okay. Uh, in this capital stabilization, the two pieces that we didn't address last week because of the concern over the uh, free cash numbers capital stabilization was that, did you selectmen voted this last mm -hmm. week? No, or they're looking for it? No, we voted. <coughs> they voted two hundred thousand. No, we voted five hundred thousand. That's what the memo was said last week. Isn't that what the CIPC yeah. and Jeff was there? That was what, what CIPC, CIPC originally recommended. recommended. Right. right, CIPC recommended five hundred. So of the of the one million. Mm -hmm. 538265 500,000 of that is free cash. That is that correct. For the for the right. Yeah, and if you and if you look in on this sheet the revenue uh, summary, it. yep. That 500,000 is showing in there under capital stabilization. Got it. Understood. 
así es. So they are in agreement. They are in agreement. Everything agrees, yeah. And and then snow and ice, that's the that's the total that Brenda has at the moment, fifty eight thousand forty two. The Warren article says seventy thousand. That's because well, we were projecting, and there were yeah. storms there were still, projected. You know, yeah, there were two storms projected, it. and then there still won't be one at the end of the so, week. You know, so it's, it's a it's a question. Um, yeah, we it, we'll, we'll, we'll put the actual number mm -hmm. in. I think right. We have the ability to do that in the motion. Yeah, in the motion you yeah. can yeah. put it. Yeah, it, well, it will be you know, insignificant. It, be it can't be higher than. So, so right, I, right. I, I mean. The, these storms, did, the, the couple storms went out to sea. So, I mean, I don't think it will be more than seventy at this point. I'm not concerned. No. I, if if we ended, if it stayed at fifty eight thousand forty two dollars, and it ended up ended up costing us seventy thousand dollars, the assessors will handle that in the recap. It's okay. That was the intent. It's, okay. If you want to change it, if you, is it is this? Are you talking about voting this thing tomorrow? Seventy thousand. I think we, we voted for everything already. All we're doing tomorrow is signing the warrant. So we will work on the motions going forward. Most of them are done. But um, we can work, I'm figure that out. Curious as to. We'll, we'll, we'll I agree. To, it's, it'll be We'll try to figure it out as much, best as possible. I, mean, I, I, don't even, I don't know if they treated it at all last night, did they? I, I, didn't I don't think so. I don't think anyone went out. Let me take a quick out. look through the, uh, by the way, if you folks can find out where that is in here, that's fine. Where are you looking for? The warrant article? The warrant articles. Um, Which one? The snow and ice one For the is, snow and ice. Um, it's 18? I got that in my head, but I don't um, know. It, it may be. I'm making uh, that up. It is. No, um, it's not 18. Okay, in Article 14, on this page 12, of, uh, this is last week's. Yeah. I 14 moved is the town transfer from free cash to the amount of 70000 to the snow and ice removal expense account. Oh, my article says Article 15. Yeah, well, just the nut. No, no, he's no, looking second. at last. Oh, oh this, is, this is a newer this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. we had on the minutes. We had no balls, no balance on no, no, no dollar amount on it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> so it's Article 15 now. Yep. Okay. Yes. Yep. Sorry so about that. We have is, the new numbers. You, you I gave like out the do? warrant that I'm expecting will be they'll be signing tomorrow, which is the numbers correct on it. The yeah. seventy thousand. I meant the article numbers, but um, no, it doesn't. Do we actually have that in there, or we just have the, the motion that the art? I just have articles. I don't have motions in that. That's. Will be the uh, this posted. Is, this, this is the one that you gave me yes. last week. Right? right, but the one I gave out tonight, you asked for me to, yesterday yes. for, and right. that's what we'd post, which is just the warrant, doesn't have the motions. So, and we can correct So there will number. be some difference between yeah. the article numbers. I had to move things around and all of that. I, yeah, I, I would just like to, if we're, you're going to ask for 70, let's put this, let's at least, we'll address the issue. Okay. Okay. And you are going to ask for 70. Did you as talk a, about as it? opposed to fifty eight? Forty two. Um I haven't, think, I haven't I talked to Brenda about that or Keith Kevin in the last yeah, few days. I, so I, I I guess I would want to wait till the end of the week to see if it goes below seventy. Okay. So do you want well, to go oh, seventy I thought you meant the right. sure I'm thinking. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Can be, that can be amended down on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, okay. yes. So leave it. it it's so. You just can't go up. So let's leave it. Well, that's a good okay. question. We're, can you win this one here? Well, I don't know. It's not an on this budget article. So I'm not sure how that's a separate separate article. Uh, in any event, we'll, oh, we'll be meeting okay. next week, so we can take it up then. Next week? Hmm? <laughs> I. I just feel like a, since I haven't checked with Kevin to verify, I would hate to give you the wrong number. So, if we, I think at this point we'll stick with I thought seventy. That was going to be the easy one. Oh, uh, I'm capital sorry. stabilization. What would you like to do with capital stabilization? We have recommended. Did we make a recommendation? No, we, we didn't, didn't make no, any recommendation. No, we have not. Free cash was okay. left, and right now we have seven hundred 
Eighty-six thousand twenty-five dollars. Yeah, there's no motion. Seven eighty-six. Oh, two five. That's how much free cash is not committed by the finance committee. At least the five hundred thousand was the selectman committee. We haven't committed to, and the balance, two eighty-six oh two five. It's on the second page of the revenue sheet. Second bottom number. Where are you, Bruce? Revenue sheet, back page, second to bottom number, right under what we're committing. Oh, okay, 286. 286025 plus the 500. That yeah. we That's what's left. Yep. 286 is what's left. But we haven't voted on five, so we have seven. No, I mean, yeah. based on yes. right. Correct. If, Correct. what the selectmen are doing. Right. So, so we can vote 786. Yeah, so the number is 786,000 that has not been, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Right. So would that be the So what would, you, what would you like to do? Uh, I myself, I, I still support the 500,000. I'm just looking at what we're committing this year mm -hmm. compared to the past years. Awfully big leap. Awful big leap. That's the way I look at it. We kept 600 last year. We we're keeping 286 this year. We spent 900, almost a, a million last year. We'll spend a million five this year. Nothing's changing next year. How are we going to come up with the extra money? Well, two and a half override. This is our next year. Well, mm -hmm. actually, we, we haven't. We don't need. We don't need 286. So we don't need 1.538 for our budget. Our, our budget, right? Yeah. Yes. That's, <laughs> and that's another point, but this, yeah, this another 60, 70,000, 80,000 months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Starts to separate the wants and the needs. Yep. Two thirds uh, vote. It's it's not that it's yeah, not that I object to the. To a seven hundred having seven hundred thousand in capital stabilization, mm -hmm. uh, my thought was, or the, the thoughts that I that we had discussed, although nobody's taken any vote on it, was that we would build the capital stabilization budget up, so that including you right. know if we put two hundred or two hundred fifty thousand this year and another two hundred fifty thousand next year. Mm -hmm. That would give you the seven hundred thousand, and then the capital improvement committee would have. You know, that was that's where the capital improvement committee would get its resources to pay for the <coughs> capital projects. The capital projects beginning next year, All right? Without right. Uh, now we've, now we've got the situation where if we put it in now, mm -hmm. we presumably would not necessarily put anything into it next year. We'll see where we're at. Uh, uh, I mean, well, that was, I think, part of the, the thought process with the committee was that if it's available yeah. this year, take the chunk and do it now because it might not be available all uh, the way things well, are heading the over I, the next the couple to, of years. The idea is to, and is I to do, put right. a, a set amount on an annual basis, give or take $250,000. Right. I hear what you're saying, Skip. Well, that, you know, that's you always been a, with every stabilization account, right. is that it never works out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I have a, maybe we should base well, it on a percentage. No, you're, you're missing, you're missing yeah. the point here. The idea is that if we've got 700000 and we're putting, or whatever the number is, yeah. and we're putting 250000 into it, the Capital Improvement Committee could come back and say, we're going to need, need 175000 We still put the two fifty in there. Yeah. Or they could say, like this year, we need 325000 mm -hmm. We still put the two fifty in there. If we put 500 in there this year, <coughs> we don't need to put 250,000 in next year. I have two questions. The uh, memo from Brenda says it will take a two-thirds vote of the town to use capital stabilization. Yep. That money. is correct. Otherwise, is it just the majority vote of the town as a separate article? What do you, what's your question? Well, say we want to free spend cash. No. The stabilization funds, both the stabilization practice. funds need to be two thirds two votes, both regular stabilization and capital stabilization. Say Everything we want else. To spend 125000 for a tractor. Yep. 
without cap using capital stabilization that doesn't money. Need majority that's votes. a majority so vote. Correct. Correct. If we're going to use capital stabilization money, then it's a two-thirds two vote. Correct. So that's the only difference in the votes, right? Yes. Correct. 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 Come next year, let's say the money's in capital. It's the second question. Say the money's in capital stabilization. Who decides whether to use capital stabilization money or have it as uh, capital request on the warrant? It'll, it'll be on the warrant the same. The only difference will be in the motion where the money is going to come from to fund it. Who decides that is my question. Essentially, well, I we think all presumably would. The, the Board of the Selectmen select board with recommendations considering the recommendations, with a recommendation for coming capital from planning the and finance. Capital plan, plan we, committee we and the finance we, committee. We would look at where we're at because it would depend on how much um, free cash we had. Exactly. What, what are receipts are what happened mm -hmm. you know this year and then we'll say oh can we pay it through free cash or do we have to go to the stabilization fund because we just can't swing it so so i guess my point is i would be more comfortable putting in 250,000 this year plan on putting 250,000 in next year and just plan on go as we go out into the future Unless, unless something changes right. in our capital expenditures, that we would typically put 250000 in on an annual basis. Well, you don't want to grow that too much either. You'd, you'd want to, at some point, if need be, cap that, I would assume. We, can so talk, you don't, about, we can talk right. about that. Maybe you want to cap it at a million dollars. Maybe you want, if it drops down to 500000 and drops below, then we would need to Do put, the free cash. Then yeah. we would need to increase it. To get it up over right, five hundred thousand, get it over seven hundred thousand, right. whatever the number is. Right. I mean, that's not something we've talked about. So. Right. Question: oh, um, Is there a, a reason we try to keep more free cash and carry over to next year? Is there a reason for that? That's what no. I'm hearing from you. Is two two a two-edged sword? One, you keep more mm -hmm. free cash and carry it over, or you, you put it to stabilization. The, what which side do you think is better? What do I think? Yeah, I mean, I, well, I think you're proposing to float it over till next year. I was okay. So this would be basically reason. what my proposal would be to put two hundred and fifty thousand or three hundred thousand. I don't really care, and boost it up to to either four hundred and fifty or five hundred thousand this year, and then at next year's town meeting there would be. 250,000 or 200,000, whatever it is, to go into capital stabilization. And we would continue to do that. The idea is to smooth out. No, I understand all okay. that, but I, and, I don't and see now, any what difference we, in putting 500 in this year or 250 in this year, because next year there's no guarantees. Correct. That's true. That's well, no, but we, we need, we do need someplace along the way. That two hundred and fifty thousand really ought to be considered operating expenses. Well, that's what I was. That's what I was trying that's, to get. At. That's the question okay. I wanted you yeah. to answer. But two eighty six isn't enough. To to carry over. I yeah. We're taking five hundred thousand. We typ saying. we typically have about five hundred thousand. We try to carry that. over. So I guess in a way. I'm really saying I'd like to carry over that's, five uh, that's all I wanted to hear. I mean, I'm what, just curious why I also, I also know that we're carrying over essentially 500000 or we expect to carry it, the equivalent of 500000 with local receipts. Yeah, which would not carry the override of the million five we needed this year. Yeah. But, does that, but does that leave us in a position once again of, of ending up, once it's certified, once again of about another $1.9 million free oh. cash? Either way. Right. Essentially, either way. way. Right. E because either. Right. Either but where, I guess where do you want that? It's not operating budget until it's certified. So right. it's really going to be until but, September. But I, I guess no, the question no, is where, this, where do you want. $1.5 million is, is in the budget. Right. right. But the balance is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's correct. Right. The, the balance, balance you can't use. So it's really not operating money until September, yeah. October. Or it's not available. It's not available. Yeah, to spend. I just watched the stabilization fund. You know, we've heard this time and time again over the years. We want to put fifty thousand in every year. Yep. Bang, bang, bang. Two years we don't put it in because we yep. haven't got any money. Got any money? Okay. Third year we put in ten thousand. Yep. Then we might jump up to fifty thousand. It sounds great in theory, but unless it is mandated, 
there is no way it's going to happen. So there, that I mean, or, I know other towns and I, take and a, I understand what you're saying. Take a percentage. But, uh, you know, if, if we have the money this year, with the anticipation of at least, you know, somewhere in the neighborhood of three to $500,000 to carry over the, uh, this coming year, I would, I would go along with putting in the stabilization. That stabilization is not going to uh, do much good, even, even if it's a million dollars, two million dollars. But what, what we got in the pipeline right now, you're not even going to pay architects fees for what we got in the pipeline. Right. But okay. what's, in the, what's in the pipeline? That's not coming out of that. No, but I'm just saying, <coughs> you know, that wouldn't even cover, if you could. Oh, I know. That wouldn't even cover architects fees. Much for later. what? Architects fees for what? Any of the pipeline that's coming down Any the Any of the projects we're talking about. No. Treatment plant, be, community but center. But that's sewer. That's not... It's not right, but you still have your. But you still have your church. Let's put that aside for now. Right, <laughs> but you still have your. You still have your church and possibly some other things that obviously we're going to have to deal the with. The library so is that kind of and, millions and, for those and things. And Skip, I do oh, understand what you're saying as far as trying to do a cost average. I, do too. I think all of us do understand you know, that. And that would be a great thing to follow through with. But right, uh, I've seen the same thing with the stabilization year after year. Uh, uh, many years, it was okay. We're going to put X number of dollars every year in. Following year, nothing. Or they rob it right back yeah. out. Uh, well, to we didn't. Have, we haven't had anything prior to last year. No, or this no, year. But pr right. Prior well, we didn't have anything in there for quite a while. I don't remember the right, last John? time we put money in the station. We've never had any that I know of. No, right. it was the first oh, one. Last I'm a long time. I do remember so. five years ago taking a million dollars out of stabilization. Right. Yeah. Uh, for the but that's what I'm saying. That, but that stabilization fund years ago when they was started, that was supposed to be funded with fifty thousand dollars a year. You're talking general stables. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. That we have two funds we should right, be yeah. looking at. If you would like, I'll make a proposal that we put. We're talking five hundred thousand. I'll make a motion to put two hundred fifty thousand into capital stabilization, and two hundred fifty thousand into general stabilization. There's your five hundred thousand. If it's the five hundred thousand, that's the sticking point. How does the general stabilization get used? Two-thirds vote again? Same way, two-thirds vote. Same two -thirds vote. What if, no, we, need, if, we, what if we need What if we need it in February? You have a special town meeting? Yes. You could. If, if, yes, if you, you, you that's you, how you well, would do it. You'd have you to have really a special town meeting yes. to take money from any source, yeah. mm -hmm. whether it's stabilization or out of free cash. <clears throat> right. see, most, most you're going to have is, uh, you know, for an emergency, uh, for, hundred thousand uh, un unforeseen expenses, is right, what, that's it. Fund for, uh, the, now, does that not if we put 250 in it? No, the reserve yeah. fund. That would be the most you could take out. Is oh, without, without a meeting. Yeah, without right. a special town meeting. Yeah. And even if you have money in other budgets that you, you yeah, want to use to move the money out of that budget into something <laughs> else, you'd need a town meeting. What was that a motion on the floor? Uh, it is a motion. I will second that. Of what, 250? To put 250 in capital and stabilization, 250 into general stabilization. And let the selectmen resolve it tomorrow night. Any I, my, discussion? my feeling is that with the general stabilization, we have more freedom to do what we want with it mm -hmm. instead of locking it into capital. Not, yeah. We can always use it for capital right. if we want. We can use general yep. for operating. We can use the general for capital or for operating, but if I we put it all at the capital, we're locked into that. I have a sneaking suspicion if you go and check, we could probably use the capital for that too, but the intent is... Right, for right. But so, if we wanted right. to, we could. Kind of earmark it. Yeah. Um, we're more flexible that way with it being in general, the way I look at it. So is that a motion? Oh, motion, motion and second. There's been second. motion and second. Any other discussion? Any, yeah, that's it. Is there other discussion? I can I can support that. I I I, I agree. The two fifty two fifty. Yep. Okay. Aye. All Aye. those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So two fifty and two fifty. Five zero zero. <laughs> I don't really get why. I just <laughs> don't I don't understand the rationale, but it's your decision. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Number. Except to be. Different. <laughs> yeah. Really? You get you guys straightened out tomorrow night.
Of course, we're, we're going to be looking forward to next year as far as doing an additional 250 or whatever yes. for yes. the yes. capital. Yes. I'm really hoping that we do, we really come forward with some financial policies that will guide us. Yes. You know, yeah, so I think we, it needs to be a percentage of something. We, and, we've and talked and about that. My, that we're going to try to no come up with something. That's a high priority right. on my list. No, it's not my help. My expectation is, let me put it that way, that policies that deal with finance are that we need to talk about those collectively. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. I don't think you I No, I bring a draft forward, we start conversation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we should look at the other towns. I know I've been watching should their budget hearings for all the yeah, communities and at least two yeah. that I know all have percentages they use to retain free cash for capital stabilization, for general stabilization, percentage of their budget. Yeah, and a lot of that comes from guidance from DOR to begin with, so. So I think it's a good idea. Okay, what, what else would you like to? Anything else that we need to discuss? Because I would like to just turn our attention to revenues in general. <coughs> are you are you going to, going to hang around for a minute or are you bailing out? I, I had a couple of questions. If you want warrant. us to leave, we'll leave. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, uh, okay. you know, it's, uh, the warrants. The new one or the old uh, one? Well, I'm just, the one that actually had motions on. Uh, well, I do have, I just want to clarify one item. Can I have a coffee? I knew I got a coffee for that because I wasn't here last week. Oh. Um, the warrant with the motion. I'll make it. The thing is, these have, you have an extra yeah. it's highlighted in we color. I, we can make a copy of it. I got it with me. I, it'd be I've easier for me to print it out. out so. I'll get it later. Can, I'll okay. print it for you because it's highlighted in a way with color that would make it easier to, to read. Okay. So I'll, I'll do one of these for you. you. You just don't take in consideration some of, the, some of us color impaired people. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, what color, what would work better? You know, Font size is uh, dark. Well, this is the problem. This this is like this because of the comments. I understand. I understand. The warrant, and, and as and you can see, the this, warrant is now it, down. It's fine in this kind of light, but when you get into yeah. a dark. These light. are reading glasses. I understand. <laughs> Empathy. <laughs> so. Bedtime reading. So, have you got something there, John, that is useful to you? The, or? What was? No. Oh. Oh. I, I have the one you handed out tonight. Okay. Uh, yeah. It doesn't have the motion. Do you have this with you? It. No. Oh, no. Old, I think it's in the de uh, on the de uh, um, table. If I if I could, the old Article 22, which dealt with the personnel committee, I understand that's been struck. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't have that. So, Nothing for a personnel bylaw on the warrant. Okay. Okay. I th I think we all agreed that we we're going to do um, bylaw changes in the fall, because okay. Bruce Bruce. Um, um, St. Peter's had made a good case for that, and, and I think that makes sense. And because it's not an expenditure, I feel like a special fall meeting would be okay for that. I, I'm less concerned about that than I am expenditures, I'll be honest with you. It would be nice to be able to do it at a town meeting, but we know that if we put, if you put 10 pages of uh, changes, bylaw changes on the warrant, that people are going to run for the hills. So it, well, you know, I, I, yeah. you know, when it I makes us at have it, at least a two-nighter. Yeah, it would be nice if we were able to do it, even if we had to do it in pieces at this fall. Yeah, we just anticipate being closer to having more from both your committee and personnel bylaws. So we met last night, personnel board, and we'll be pouring over some examples to bring forward. So. Okay. I am Article 24 on the new printout. Is this a request for additional licenses? For yes. This is, um, we are out. We have now two um, businesses requesting one license. And we're almost out of 
and what other category? Have, and I think another one is coming in or requesting another one. I had heard. So. Okay. So we we you know the state sets very strict quotas, and the only way you can increase. This gives us permission. Doesn't make the board have to do it. Okay. We're going to have a discussion, and I think some public input to really evaluate that. The question also came up because, as you may know, that the number of uh, at this point, the marijuana yep. um, agreements, or what are they called? They're not called social, licenses. No, so, social consumption establishments. The retails, yes. marijuana yes. sales yes. shop, are tied to, um, right now, yes. it's seven. It would be seven for us. So it's one. I, I round down. I hope the case can be made for that. 1.4. seven because it's tied to liquor license. It's yes. no, it's okay. The liquor, it's tied to the seven liquor license cat, the category that that counts for that formula has seven right. licenses. So that means 1.4 so can be issued. So if we to the seven, is that correct? Yeah, it's well, I forget which one it is, but whatever, it, we come 20, out to two. It's 20% no. of your, of those licenses. Cor so correct. We have, we, up 10, we have two. We have two, but we can bring that down. By vote. By, by vote. We Correct. On, on the there, there are, these regulations are changing every day, <laughs> and they're coming well, out, still, you I know, so we're trying to follow. To but that's what I understand to be the case at this that's moment. Why, and that's why there's no, been no decision made, because um, we want to be very conservative, and so we need discussion on that still. And we could actually, and this is what, I, you know, I've talked about it with council, I believe we could uh, have this article at, in the form of a motion pass with the three and three request, which I think, um, it's That's not in there, but it's on the pre, on your motion uh, uh, document that I gave you. Um, we could reduce that after town meeting even. The select board could change that as well. We just don't, didn't, if by doing this, we don't have to wait till next year to right. make a decision. Should we have? But we will make a decision on how many we will actually activate <coughs> based on what we're hearing, or at least that's my, my feeling on it. Nobody's uh, rushing into it. With the committee, um, when we voted on Article 7, which is the adopt the classification schedule, it was a 2-2 two -two vote, right? It was, yes. Yes. so it's defeated. Article it's defeated. Yeah. So, so we are not making, we are not re recommending number seven. Okay. Article 7 with personal. Yeah, I had an A on, a scale. on here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I had a couple questions. Which is a no. <laughs> Article 27 by the old sheet, which yep. was the uh, marijuana. Yep. Okay, the chapter 121-1 is definitely <clears throat> off the ballot. 121-2 on down would still be on town meeting floor. Is that right? Um, yes. Okay. So what I did notice was... The cultivators are still going to be allowed by special permit in industrial and PI. What's that? Potential industrial or something? That's the uh, um, Oxford pickle. And everything is by special permit. And uh, so I guess the mm -hmm. other one is one of the only e EPD we have <coughs> is the. Oxford Correct. Right. As far as I know. And actually, that there is no available property there. And so We're I guess hoping. my question would be: Is you have um, the independent testing li li laboratory in the marijuana product manufacturer? I realize that this is more planning board than you, but you know, since they're not here, um, there is a daycare center within that 500 feet. I'd be pretty close to it, I believe. So. Would that exclude them automatically, uh, the marijuana facilities out of that area? Um, what it is is, to, you know, from their, um, the way Adam explained it is from their building to the building of the marijuana per place. No, that the way well, it's written here is from the prop property line 
the buildings over here, okay. the property line here, well, from property line to property line. I, as far as I know, there's no available property over there, Bruce. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it, so it, it doesn't, it, you know, however you measure it, it doesn't matter. So, okay. And so if there is no property, does it make any sense to have it in there, or should we be excluded from it? I, that could change. That could change. You know. and, and also in that, it says or where children may uh, congr uh, regularly congregate, which should, you know, I mean, you have the church over there besides, and they have catechism and so forth. So, you know, would that be an automatic exclusion too? Or, I mean, uh, I, if it's within the 500 feet. We did, not, yeah. we did not reduce the 500 feet on purpose. Right, okay. We, right. Kept, we kept the state maxim the maximum and, you know. Okay. So I guess my other question would be, in, in, it says, uh, shall immediate terminate, shall immediately terminate should the recipient cease operation. Define cease. I mean, does that mean by his own accord or by whether the regulations say you're shut down or what? I mean, that's kind of a broad, I, I I'm mean, not asking for a question, but I mean, that would be my question is, is how are you defining cease? Is used several times in here, and it doesn't, you know, doesn't say whether it's a forced cease of operation, whether it's a voluntary cease of operation. Uh, you know, I can try to clarify that with council, or if you think it would be illuminating, it might be a good question to ask on town meeting floor. Well, is it? You, doing, you know, is it easier to solve before rather than after? Before. I mean, that's you know, that's what before. I'm asking. Before. I, I mean, from a regular different interpretations yeah. of that. I, I I think it's better to go that's to the, the only council. That's bringing it up. Yeah, I think it's better to have the council answer yeah. it okay. because we don't want from a regular oh, I'm, I'm not asking from you a about. regulatory point of view, when you say cease operation, that means stop. You are shut down under any circumstances. And, and, Fine. I but mean, I don't know if that is Adam's interpretation yeah. of this. And I'm one. not asking you for an answer yeah. to that. No, I'm okay. just well, I'm just loud. I'm just explaining what a regulatory from a regulatory point of view. If we say cease and desist, that's it. You're right. done. Right. You're shut down. You know, so but, I mean, but I don't know if that's I mean, the same interpretation from from if he, gets, if he gets sick temporarily sick for six months and has to cease, is that included? I, I think but that's that, a good what, that's yeah. a good question to ask. Adam. And, okay. Yeah, and yep. so we don't know that, that may also be defined in the yeah. regulations. There again, I'm not asking beyond you us, so, I'm just, yeah. you know, the other one I had was in the under 4665 dimensional and performance standards. It says uh, uh, establishment. Of, let's see. Wait a minute here, Robin. Okay, the minimum lot size for any marijuana establishment in the RA zoning district shall be five acres. Okay, now is that defined as five acres as a plot or five acres contiguous or under the same as the agriculture where you know you can have two acres over here across the road over here or across the river? Uh, you know, it's a very vague definition. <coughs> What's the lot size? Pardon? It's a lot size. You're sure? Because the That's what it says, minimum lot size, right? What, what subparagraph are you looking This at? is uh, uh, number, number two. two. So that means one, one parcel, the, a single parcel. The old, I, well, that's the parcel. how I would. Yeah, a single parcel. You wouldn't, yeah. don't you think? So, okay. Well, if it's under one ownership. I mean, a lot is a lot. lot. It's not that lot, this lot, that. It's across the street is always the question. Yeah, because it, you know it's going to be owned by the same person across the street, two acres and three acres. Yeah. I think that its intention was to make it, um, you know, the USDA definition of a farm is five acres. Yeah, or because more. they allow across the road and, yes. and and everything else. I mean, you know, is it or isn't it? You know, it ought to be defined. So, and there again, it's only a problem solver before the discussion gets going. Yeah. Okay. And so, so, be, so I guess what ha I guess I like, this is a general question. One, so if if people decide not to accept mm -hmm. these charts, <laughs> such as Article Twenty Eight that allows special permits in the industrial and planned industrial, what happens at that point? This is just a speculative question. That well, they don't adopt the zoning bylaw. Yeah. Yeah. then we're subject to whatever they want to do, I think. I don't think yeah. we can do limitations. We can't tax. We can't do a host agreement. But they can, oh, they can this gives us control as opposed to, like Why Sunderland wasn't 
doing anything. And I, I asked them, and they said, gee, I think we should, right? <laughs> so, yeah, we well, are. No, but I mean, if you pass the beginning here, where you're under, oh, the, if you don't pass under all the prohibition, you know, the, the enforcement, the medical right. marijuana, and so forth, then, then uh, uh, Well, we're, we're pro what, given, uh, that's, n that, we're going to, the mo moderator's going to address that. It's a moot, oh. but it's on the warrant. Has okay. to, yeah. Thank we have you. to put what the planning board sends to us on the warrant, if they have a public hearing and all of that. So they sent that to us mm -hmm. and recommended it. They also sent us the zoning, that being the pro prohibition. They also sent us the zoning with no recommendation because it was a tie vote. Okay. I was doing a couple of questions. Back okay. Thanks. Great question. Article 29. If we approve this article, what happens? Okay, I'm sorry. My, tw are you talking about the warrant now? Not yes, the warrant. Okay. Article 29, petition article, page 11. Um, I'm going to let council address that or the moderator when we get there. I don't, not really sure right now. <clears throat> so that'll be explained prior to the article vote. Oh yeah. Plus 29, right? So yeah. that's your put petition article, Bruce? Yeah. Yeah. On the CPA <clears throat> funds. <clears throat> Page 11 on the new one. Very end. At the bottom. Oh, okay. Oops, sorry. To take out. the question? Uh, the question was, what happens if it passes? Gets reduced to 1%? Uh, no. If this passes? Yep. If it passes, then I would assume at the next special town meeting, there would be an article to reduce. Right. That would be my understanding. Yep. Of it. Okay. Is that everybody's understanding? There wasn't on this side. That's why I asked. I'm or not certain. I'm genuinely not certain. I'm not, you know. Could we find out? I don't want to go to town meeting with the article. And oh, say no. I, I, yeah, I can find out, but I know that council and have, was going to address that. But, I yeah. believe we recommended it. Yes, you we were, did. You did. Mm -hmm. A petitioned article? Yep. Yep. Well, if I, wrote, I think I wrote I, didn't I? <laughs> I did. Which, which one was the article? It's 28 on that one. 28, 11. 28. So, call it 28B. 28B, okay. Right. Yes, that's right. A and B, that's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can email you if you'd like. To know. Or just email the committee. Just or so watch our meeting or come tomorrow and have the answer, hopefully. This is a peculiar, as you know, law, so it has different... And I'm, I, that's <laughs> the thing. I don't know what the... I keep hearing people say you can and can't. Mm -hmm. and do yeah, this. I would just like to... I did get... Um, you can't change it at this meeting. <coughs> Why do we have to have a special town meeting? I don't understand. Why can't we do it, make it effective with this town meeting going forward? Oh, somehow it was voted as special. The law, the law says the law. if you're going to amend it or change it in any way, it has to be done the same manner that it was put in when it was put in on special town meeting and ballot. Okay. Yeah. But council give their two cents worth. Uh, I I'm also checking with the CPC coalition. We pay good money for their services, so I take advantage of them. Any other questions on the, uh, the warrant? <clears throat> Okay. Uh, and I just want to throw this out for general discussion, and it's, we're not going to take any votes on it. Well, I don't think we are. Anyways. If you take a look at the budget summary sheet, 
And at the same time, you've got uh, the uh, revenue detail sheet. <clears throat> but if we look at, at the revenue, or the budget summary sheet, revenues, the first item, total property taxes, that number, 11282886 is pretty easy to arrive at. And uh, with the exception of, of any changes to debt exclusions, any changes to uh, new growth, you could sit here and pretty well take this out for the next 10 years and you're going to be fairly accurate. Using 2.5%. Yep. Yeah, 2.5%, percent throw in 50000 for new yep. growth. Deduct a little bit for, you know, paying down debt exclusions, uh, yep. whatever you want to do. Uh, cherry sheets. <clears throat> if you go back and look historically, cherry sheets for the last, uh, this, these are state aid. State aid for the last 10 years has been about the same. It isn't changing. So it's going to go up $3,000 maybe this year. And I don't think over 10 years it's gone up 30,000 bucks. Actually, you're right. Yep. So. <clears throat> Actually, the, there was some. Okay, I'm looking at overlay. Never mind. Yeah, overlay, whether you want to consider overlay as a, as a revenue or negative revenue or yep. treat it as an expense, uh, I'll let, uh, I'll let the. Uh, Well, the assessors figured out or I'll, I'll let our town accountant determine whether that should be revenues there or not. Local receipts. Uh, if it's not revenue, it would have to no. be voted. It's, it's not right. a revenue. It's not a revenue. It's no, but if we put it, if we it move it off the revenue sheet, then it has to yes. be voted. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's really the issue. <clears throat> so where else would you put it? Right. Okay. Local receipts. Local receipts... Uh, have have been the one that, that jumps all over. And I've, I didn't bring the, the totals with me. I don't think. No. Uh, and, but as a general rule, at this point, we're going to raise a total of about $2.2 .2 million in revenues, in, in local revenues, local receipts. Based on what? Based on what we've raised in the past, again, what you're seeing there no. are okay. local. Yeah, so, but they do move, and so the recommendation <coughs> from the DOR or local services department is to be very conservative with the budgeting. So we use this as a conservative figure, knowing that, you know, we do have some, and I think this is the one area where I can say reasonably that we should be using free cash to offset that reduction. Thank you. I, I just, you know, we, that's about 500,000. That's all. We, we had two really bad experiences. I think it was 2005 when that was when Mitt Romney didn't pay um, our reimbursement for the elementary school, mm -hmm. you know, and then we had the economy crash in 2008, which impacted our 2000. 10 budget actually mm -hmm. so being conservative is is really important to me well back a few years ago we were because conservative. we were no we have always we've used the same formula for quite a long time well maybe for the past eight or ten years but if you go back a little further you'll see well, you'll see that the, the well, numbers are I, I, I think it was right after the Mitt Romney issue when they okay. withheld payment for the elementary school and we had to cover it mm -hmm. And that was horrendous because that was, you know, they were committed to reimburse yeah. us. And I, I just felt that that was incredibly unfair. And I think that's when we did the rolling averages and we built in this conservatism. Mm -hmm. and, I, and the reason why we do generate free cash is because we are conservative. And I, and I think that is really very important that we maintain that and that we do, we do generate free cash because of it, but as we knew in 2010 budget year, the excise tax and our local receipts for um, restaurants and meal and room tax, that completely tanked. 
we didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. So it, it is really important to be conservative just because it costs money to lay people off. It's very disruptive, and it doesn't really accomplish them much. And so this gives us a little bit of buffer, and I would appreciate that. The, uh, the next item, other funding sources. You've got the detail. And I guess if I were doing this, uh, I would have been a little more conservative with the overlay surplus and, and estimate that at 50000 bucks. And do that on an annual basis, but whatever. It, it's not a, it's not a big deal. The, the the point the point is that that two hundred and thirty five thousand dollars is relatively small, and it's not that that's coming from. We used to we used to balance the budget in part by taking money out of the municipal building fund, and and there was an insurance fund, and we took money. And so those I have a problem with. This is this is <coughs> basically reasonable. Mm -hmm. well, I do about? have I do have a concern when we get down to the free cash. We need one point mm -hmm. five million dollars to cover uh, our budget, and that budget is composed of almost well, give or take. If you take the half a million dollars that's on this page out of capital stabilization, you're looking at about $1.5 million. That's, that's a million dollars more in revenue than we raised in the course of a year. That's a concern. Going forward, I suspect we're gonna, one of these days we're going to get hit, and I hate to be in that situation. Uh, and, I, wanna... and I really would like to, to see us take this budget, if not this year, then certainly in the future, and squeeze it. And, and I, going, going back to the budget items, the, uh, the committee, the, the biggest concern is adding staff. When we add staff, that goes on forever. And unfortunately, over the past five or six years, we've actually added a fair amount of staff. It doesn't look like it. Got a police officer in here, full time. Figure out what the total of that is. We've added staff in the, you've got Kyle and Dick. It's an addition of staff there. Uh, it is a half-time person. But, yes, yeah, yeah. but it, it, it's addition. And then if you go back a few more years, you know, there's actually been staff in, in, in years, but there was a time when the only two people were in that office, uh, Casey and David, when they were over here. It's kind of that way so now. There's, Pardon? It's that way now. It's been that way most of this year. I understand. <laughs> but, but, you know, we, we're, that's not what we're authorized. Right. That you are authorized. So we have, added, we have added staff, and yet in that time frame, the town has not changed its population. We are still, give or take, 5,000 people in town, and we were 10 years ago. What is the correlation between town population and staffing? The ability to raise revenues. Right. And we can't raise revenues if the town doesn't grow. Right. We, we can raise revenues, but You're we, we are- You're making my case for the planning position. We are, we are taking yeah. more people, or the same number of people, and asking them to pay more. Virtue of the fact that uh, if you look back 10, 12 years ago, we had a substantially lower tax rate than we have now. We're just shy of $16. We were in the 10 to $12 range. That's a... Well, we know the other issue. <laughs> well, We've well, losing our tax base. We are, but... Two Skip. untaxable properties. It's, it's a problem. And yes. we, whether we're losing our tax base or not, if we're losing our tax base, then our expenditures should be the. declining proportionately. No. No. You still got 5,000 people that need the services. There's no services. Thank you. There's no decrease in services. Well, that's the, well, that's the issue. That might be the issue. It's a problem, but yeah. But so maybe it's not going to be dollar time. for dollar. Some, I, some of these positions might not be open four days, five days a week. 
Skip, you know, seventy oh, percent of our almost seventy percent of our budget Come is education closed, closed related, and we and we have we have a train wreck happening in you, the next get, three to five years. Yeah, We've get, been I've been talking with you about this. We've gone to meetings yeah. about this. I'm just am harassing poor John Pereski mm -hmm. to. Um, Don't harass meet him too with much me. so he leaves you. No, 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 but he's, we need to set up a meeting on the foundation budget because, you know, there could be Chapter 70 cuts. I, I, I just feel very strongly that we have to have more, um, a stronger working relationship with the schools because the school, our frontier budget is going up almost 6%. When, when the schools are set almost 70% of our budget and they go up, you know, six, actually 6% six has is relatively lower than it has in years past when we've been double digit. Well, they have and the, the elementary school has been really doing a very good job of trying to stay in that 2 to 3% mm -hmm. range. But it, 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 when you add in health insurance, you know, it's closer to 4.5%. So you, you know, you, you look at your, your distorting our little municipal government part, which is actually really shrinking as a percentage of the overall cost of government. And so what we have to do is we have to do something. We have to think out of the box. We have to reach out to the schools. And having Trevor as a select person and working with the schools is, is you know, a step in the right direction. But we've got to figure out something. And, Bye. you know, Bye. you went to a meeting. We were... Um, uh, up in Mohawk, we all went to a meeting at GCC. We sat there all Saturday trying to figure out what are we going to do, and people are, you know, want to reform the foundation budget. But we've got to work so my question to is make this. sure that the foundation budget does actually not punish us for paying more than what we are, are, are paying already. So my costs. question is this. If we continue to add staff, whether it's staff at the schools or staff here, where does the money come from? I would hope that we will work together and come up with a solution because if we I have been to saying add staff, where does the money come from? Skip, I have told you over and over again it's unsustainable. Well, but we have to that. work, we have to work together and figure out a solution because so, we have fantastic music teachers, we have fantastic string teachers, you're, and we have to figure out how we're going to afford our schools. You're avoiding the question. The question is, if we're going to increase budgets in excess of that 25 or 3 percent, <coughs> where are those revenues coming from? We have to sort it out. Well, no, no, where do they come from? They come from the, we're going to have to do a two and a half override. Do you yep. think that's going to pass? No. I would rather face the issue now. I would rather look at our budgets and, and like I said, squeeze those budgets and hold them to a sustainable level. And I don't, you know, I want to look at, I'll look at the town's, the municipal side of the budget and the school side of the budget independently and say to each one of them, you're locked into 3%. The exception basically is uh, uh, debt exclusions where, we, where we're doing construction. If you've got an alternative to that, I'd really like to know what, is it, what it is. I, I think what you're trying to say is we have to work on the funding formula for the schools so that it's more advantageous. Well, I think that's just is, one step, though. That's, that's not going to solve about, all the problems. I'm going to list a whole bunch of them. Right. I yeah. made the case. I tried to make the case to you about the importance of a planning position to increase the tax base to develop. We've got some things happening without our interference or assistance. Some of it is our assistance, but we could do a whole lot more. But I, what, so that's <laughs> that's for having a planning position. Not going forward with that now, but I do think that could help us look for opportunities for growing um, our tax base. When I referenced it a few minutes ago, I was talking about the decrease in the, in the uh, taxable property with the buying up a property by the nonprofits. Those are next, you gotta keep that in the mix. But we can work, it probably won't make that big a difference, but it's, it's worth fighting for to make sure that any kind of school funding formula doesn't, is not at disadvantageous to us. 
or any of our partner towns in the, in the regional school district. So, you know, there's not one answer. I think there's many different paths to pursue, and I think we should be involved in all of those. I have been wearing myself out saying that it's not sustainable, Skip. But when we have almost $2 million in free cash, you don't go yeah. to the town and say, we need yeah. an override. Mm -hmm. we, have to, we have to figure yeah. out what, what are the fixes, what is permanent, because an override is permanent. <coughs> so once we figure out the fix, then you can go for an override to fix something, because that's a permanent fix. But there my is no my concern with the free cash is that we're using free cash for operating expenses. That is what's not sustainable. I agree with you. It's so just that we've been doing why, that for well are, over 10 years. Why are you proposing that we add a position to the budget? It wasn't my initiative. Uh, can I that wasn't a good answer. <laughs> make a, a point. You know, we, we had $1.8 million this year. With the numbers you just said, 2.2, we could have $500,000 mm -hmm. additional. And we'll carry it over 286. That's half of what we spent this year. Mm -hmm. Now it's the budget. Mm -hmm. So next year is, we're going to have to wake up. Yeah, but we're adding, we're adding, we're adding half a million dollars of stabilization money to I know, 800000 between capital improvements and capital stabilization. Would be in free cash anyways. No, no 500000 500 plus right. 350 or 375 capital money. So whether oh, it's yeah. in capital, capital uh, you know, stabilization you funds or free cash, doesn't make any difference. Right. 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 So, I mean, we have $500,000 extra this year we're putting right. it away. May Next I go? year we're not going to have 500000 Exactly. So we're going to be... We, yeah, we don't know what we're going to have. But right. Right. If we estimate 800000 <clears> that's a million short. And even if you take the 500000 back, you still can't meet the... We, you just barely meet the increase this year, $1.5 million. So, I mean, I think next year is where we're going to be at a point where you're not going to be able to afford a step in a COLA. Yeah, that's a problem. And we're not going to be able to... We're going to have to somehow negotiate with teachers... For COLA only for a couple of years. 5% wage increases are not sustainable. I'm not That's saying they don't about. deserve it, but with a 2.5% limit. If we, think that we, if we think it is, there's only $160,000, $170,000 in, in this group. That's all it is. What's 160 dollars I heard the number pushed around that in just salary increases, about one hundred fifty-five. dollars Hundred and seventy thousand dollars. Where? Town employees. Fifty five thousand. Well that was one fifty five. Fifty five. Fifty five. Well you also yeah. have skims. Which we didn't count. Which you gotta add them in. And the police. Well you talk you, know, you have a percentage, obviously, right. But and you got you your gotta, you got your employee benefits on top of that. Right. But you've gotta you know, you've gotta include but that. The employee benefits don't change no matter what you do with salaries. Right. Um, Medicare they do. Does. They affect they do. what we owe spring the pension. retirement every year. Yep. It increases the pension every year, pension. which is the one down the road. Down the road. Okay. It's uh, and that's why we had such an increase this year. Part of it. No, it's, it's not. It's not the driving force, but there it's, again, the it's one of those pieces. The driving. Right. It's, it's one of those pieces. The driving. Two driving forces that are most important. If you want to. If you want to hold down salary costs, <coughs> number one, are the people you have on staff. If you increase it, you're going to increase this. No, well, if you want to operate number like two, this. Number two is your cost of living increase. Those are the two pieces. I, you know, you're worried about, you know, people go, going up steps. So you but you continue to forget the fact that somebody leaves at a higher step, and whether that happens this year or next year, we have at least one employee sitting on top step, mm -hmm. and that employee is going to get replaced not at the top step, but at a lower step. Mid step. Well, I would hope it's not mid. Well, I mean, that's the point that the by the time we get to the point. Well, the personnel committee has be, been making the, the point of keeping well, it at a lower level. <clears throat> So 
you're, you're proposing steps in no cola. Pardon? You're thinking steps in no cola. I'm, I'm thinking cola. steps and cola. But the cola doesn't have to be two and a half percent. And it isn't this year, it's two. Uh, by the to same token, the, uh, the educational component was a two and a half percent step increase this year, or com this coming year. I think we have to be involved in the negotiations with the teachers union and we also have to I mean obviously if we don't have free cash next year then there 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 is an the understanding capital stabilization and there is an understanding that we probably wouldn't do steps or we wouldn't do coal or just to avoid having to lay off anybody I mean how these about are, if we don't hire new people I, I, what is what agenda item are we on right what now? Are, what are, I think we're so talking are. about revenues and expenses. Right. Well, and we're getting into personnel yeah. and hiring. I don't anticipate. Mm -hmm. I mean, know. I don't anticipate but hiring any new people. Next year? Well, I mean, I don't think we're going forward with the planner. I thought that well, was, you didn't that, support it. And, and Is that coming off the? Yeah. Or is it going to? Let it go. That's Everyone who asked me to put it on hasn't stepped up. I'm letting it go. I, 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 then, then I, I felt that this the, conversation hmm? doesn't need to Plain take place. Board, Conservation Commission, nobody. No, but they had me come back three times to talk about it. They, they wanted to hear it. about it. I still I feel told them they if I can to interject to the, just something and very quickly And I needed the board here. to, and I, 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 whose I, idea it was. Okay. Yeah. I still feel, and I, I've talked about this for a couple of years and it doesn't seem to happen or I, and I really don't quite understand it, but I still feel that we are getting to the point with the, the financial situation in this town that we really need to get all the players in the same room at the same time and have a very honest and open discussion of where we're at and where we need to go and how we're going to address some of the needs, not the wants, but some of the needs that we know we have as a town. And, you know, I've been presenting that for a couple of years now, and it just, for some reason, just does not happen. And I don't think we're going to solve where we're heading if we don't do that. Yep. And I'll just leave it at that because I don't want to beat, beat it well, up. <coughs> well, let me ask you a quick who, who, mm. who are the players? Obviously, you know. Well, that would be us, but in part. Right. But that would be that maybe. would be us, and I think department heads, yep. and I think you need to get your school people in here, yep. and Absolutely. and have them be part of it. All all your departments that you're dealing with, the school people, and believe it or not, and some people may say no or yes on it, but I really believe that you need to bring in your nonprofits, and have a good, open, honest discussion, and say and let them know. I mean. You know, granted, they they have done some things, such as yeah. the the building over here, which I think everybody is very appreciative of. But there's other things that just go beyond our capabilities as far as taxpayers to be able to sustain the entire Deerfield, including non nonprofits. And I'm not pointing finger at nonprofit; they're just part of the puzzle of this whole thing and we need to have them on board. We need to be able to discuss where we're at as a town and where we need to go. And in those priorities that we've talked about too, as far as we all know that we have, or could potentially have some major things coming down the line, but we're all kind of ducking and bobbing and weaving and we're not sure how we're gonna pay for it, how we're gonna <coughs> do it, or what's, what's gonna be our priorities, you know, it's, I don't know, to me it's foolish because we're, we're more reactive than proactive. And I'd, I'd like to see this town and the people employed in the town, including your volunteer committees, uh, to maybe get a little more proactive instead of being reactive. And I think it would benefit everybody. How you do that? I'm not uh, well, the Jeff, one. That's above uh, honestly, my pay grade. honestly, it's the same thing. It's not sustainable getting, you know, you going horse here, just mm -hmm. trying to say that over and over again. But I think what's going to happen is John and I are going to look at this foundation budget, and if we can't figure anything out, 
and w or we do figure something out, wonderful. But if we can't figure something out, and this whole um, reform of the foundation bu bu um, budget goes through, and it, and we are penalized, then this three to five year window that we have sort of been limping along is just all of a sudden closed. Right. Because there's no way that we can right. make up those kind of hundreds of thousands right. of dollars of impact. Well, that's why, that's why I say the, the foundation budget is just a part of it. That's just a piece of the puzzle. Uh, I remember being over but in Sunderland. But that will force us. I, right. That I, will force us to come I remember being together. over in Sunderland, what was it, a year and a half ago or whatever, at a joint, kind of at a joint meeting. And last I knew, we were having people that were going to review, thinking outside the box on how we're approaching education, the possibility of regionalization, which I know some people, well, people don't want. But I think it needs to be discussed because we're getting to the point where I think we need to start thinking outside the box a little bit. And I agree. if we're going to stay in, you know, as I say, you continue to do the same thing over and over using the same methods, you're going to get the same results. And we yeah. can see right now where that's leading us. Not a good situation. Well, uh, Jeff, First, you ever. made a good point. I mean, we have regionalized some of the elementary services. And why can't we do the rest of it? SPED services are regionalized. I mean, there's SPED services specific in Conway, there's SPED specific in Waitley, specific in Deerfield. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, they're, they're doing it well, already. Yeah, you, also they have, you also have, <clears throat> uh, again, I, I realize, you know, you have different needs there, <clears throat> but uh, you also have your curriculum coordinators. I, you know, it's, it is a political hot potato because what we'll be working with the other three towns, and they are worried. I would say Waitley and Conway are worried that they would not be, you know, if you do regionalize, that the conclusion well, that's would just, be. That's just one, one thing that, that was would thrown be, out. There's, right. there's other things that but I'm that's sure one of there's the some pretty smart people could come up with some pretty right. creative ideas. Well, I mean, one of the things that we, I keep going back to is because we did have a committee, we mm. did have meetings, um, was the, doing some kind of science magnet school well, at, exactly. at, at Waitley. And, it, I mean, it makes so much sense that, mm -hmm. you know, you would at, have this math science Mm -hmm. Kind of, yeah, you know, magnet right. school that for for kids that really yep. wanted to do that, and or had a special math That's board what or whatever. Can, and so, know, there's there's way but, of addressing this. But it takes momentum, and it also more than not takes a crisis. Right. So I think this is but we're it's developing start someplace. We can't yes, keep talking about it year after year after well, year. Uh, little so. things are <laughs> happening. I, I just right. finished f finally my report for the town report, and in it I talked about. The town administrators have been meeting with the school administrators on a somewhat regular basis, mm -hmm. and we spend a lot of time talking about these things. Mm -hmm. um, so I hopefully mean, we'll move on some of them with your help. <laughs> so well, everyone, stay tuned. everyone wants to preserve our schools, the good quality level in our schools. So we do have to come up with a solution, and I right. think... I think it's going to be come to the point, whether it's the foundation budget or just a regular budget mm -hmm. woes, um, we are going to have to do something. And, and that, therefore, people will be serious about coming to the table because we haven't had a lot of success right. um, well, at Skipper bringing Signal, the community I, together. I would rather be proactive than, than us get into a situation where we have to go for a two and a half override to support our schools, have it voted down, and then go back to the school committee and say, here you go, you guys figure out. Looks like you're going to have to start cutting staff to come within budget. And then, and then where does that leave everybody? We, we, have, we have an example of that happening in the last five years. And, and that's, I mean, that's part of the driving force, at least for me, is that I don't want to see the town of Deerfield, and I don't think we're close to that. No. Uh, to get into that situation to where we have to. Uh, no one does. Yeah. No one does. Well, right. no, I mean, like no I said, I just. I think we can avoid it. I, you know, I left the selectmen's years. meeting last week early just because the strings teacher is just so fantastic at the elementary school. The Union 38 strings teacher is fantastic. And there are so many kids participating. And it's, it was a lovely, lovely concert. And it just, 
you know, we, we need to make sure that we pr protect that. And so I think there, there will be a real, whether John and I come up with something, I don't know, but there will be a real push to protect our schools if they are threatened. And so what we have to do is just organize it and work together. Are any, any of the towns looking at a two and a half override? Not, no. no. So I know it's not? Um, I'm not aware that they are. Short, I know Waitley and Conway is not. $200,000 short in the budget. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. Who? Sunless. I don't know. I don't know. Did I have a question. Conway, Did, I don't think they Conway resolved was it. short. They no, they're okay. Um, had, we met with Brian and Tom last week. He said he's they're good. I, I said, Tom I too. heard. <laughs> I heard you're taking stabilization money to, you know. At any rate, they're good. of the paperwork question. You I'm said sorry. the plan and position, you took it off? Correct. It's still on here under requested. It was requested. I'll no, unrequest it. We've got to vote. It's up to the town. It's good. It's yeah. No, I thought you said, oh. So the, yeah, I'll talk to Brenda off. about taking the it off. The board wants it on. Coming off the budget. No. No, we, we decided not to it's pull it. It's still on here is what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm oh. going to pull it. Yeah. Okay. No, we pulled it already. Okay, but it needs, well, I, I, need to, yes. this needs to be revived. Well, yeah. yeah. That'll, that can happen. Huh? Uh, Next one week. question. I don't know whether you have an answer for this. Thanks, John. In, in attempting to attract new business, uh, new industries, whatever, uh, it's, I don't know whether it's my impression or what I've heard, uh, one of the major concerns has been <laughs> do the availability of high speed internet. Do we have high speed internet in town? Yeah, we're right off the It's available in the. Yep. In the area, yeah, so we're we're, we're right a, off 91. We're one of the best ones. I, I'm not aware of any area of town that's never heard a complaint, but anybody. Yeah. No, if I was just to ask that, that, I'm do sorry. You have road. I just had to put a booster on my. Okay. Oh, wow. Do you have Verizon uh, as a provider for internet? Yeah. Well, no. so do I. No, well, Comcast. It's a problem. Yeah, a Comcast. I have Comcast, and I had to put a booster on mine, too. Yeah, there are, I mean, there's a weak signal all through. Well, this is good information. I have Comcast, I have no problem at all. Well, it depends where you are. Yeah. You know, they, they but in terms of business? The, the, huh? the I have Comcast. <laughs> no, I have Comcast. But in terms of business Comcast. and um, yeah. perhaps some small home businesses, it might be a problem in your area, yeah. you know, additional cost, uh, but. I, I could ask how we are doing here, but I, that's, that's where? not necessarily. The town. Uh, fine. Um, uh, in fact, I was just um, talked with George O'Brien, who who's the editor of and writer for Business West, wanting to do a feature on Deerfield, and um, um, I told him about these new businesses that are happening, and he kept, he kept bringing me back to tourism. And I said, you know, Deerfield is more than tourism. I hope that makes it in the paper because there, it is so much more. You know, people live here. We have, we have businesses here to serve the people that live here, as well as people in the region, as well as visitors that come to our tourist attractions. But I do appreciate the visitors, but the visitors, don't, they come here in the morning and they're gone by the afternoon. Hopefully they buy gas. But uh, <laughs> it would be That'll nice be to capture problem. them. It would be nice to have more reasons for them to visit other than the, the destiny, you know, places that they go to. So, but, you know, as I said, we've got additional in the, in the school course of, I think it was three or four weeks at the most, it, we, we had kept having people coming in requesting licenses for, for off or on-premise uh, liquor. Um, so new bakery opening, um, this store here, um, another store um, up international market. Um, no, well, that's the bakery. That's no, the this bakery. is Sonam's yeah. little uh, you know, place oh, there, yeah, international market. Right. There's a dollar store, I believe, going in at the corner of Mill Village Road. Um, we've got um, closings on the two remaining parcels in the industrial park. That would be a lovely addition to our town. What? What's the that? dollar store? The dollar store and come up front and be in, be in our gateways. The South Deerfield. You overhearing my conversation? With, with that, I have a motion to adjourn. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
love yeah, to talk to you about better. I'll second it. Let's move and second it. Any further comments? All yeah, wait a minute. Favor. Next meeting. Next it. meeting is next yeah. Tuesday. Can't have growth. Six o'clock. Uh, okay, with yeah, everybody. Yep. The tenth. Uh, how about the seventeenth? Uh, What's today? Tenth. Oh, geez. That's what it would be. The seventeenth. <laughs> seventeenth. <laughs> Sorry. All those in favor of returning? Aye. Aye. Opposed. You know. <coughs> Thank you very much. One other quick thing. First, I say the same thing every day. Wendy? Yeah. One other quick thing on this. Sure. Article 22. <coughs> it's, it's for accepting uh, Chapter 40, 6J, and 6L. Those are, two the, those are two specific articles. Uh, two specific. They uh, should be separated. Is that what you're saying? I that, that was the question this that we. This is from Barbara. Was, These are the unclaimed the, uh, tailings. Pardon? Is this the tailings one? The checks, the. Uh, no, this, this is the no, uniforms. This is the uniforms one, oh. one because one, one, one of them is strictly for Lease. leasing one's and lease purchasing, and, one's and, one's and, one's and one is strictly for right. uh, one is for What's leasing the, and one is for purchasing. Oh, okay. I thought one was for police. And Do you need another one for okay. cleaning? No. The one, one is they both one. All right. Leasing I'll includes with, laundering. I'll I'll check the with colors counsel. go well with. Uh, no. Are we still Christmas on the color. air? I'm going to oh, so. wake him up. No. Yes. No call. Let me make a copy of those. Uh, All right. All right. What? Red and green. You turn to the. I do want. Different. Who's got the. Christmas colors. It's blue and green. Who's green got candle. the. Um, What's that? What's it called? Yeah. Color. What is it called? When you. Well. Don't see. A vision when you don't. When you partially don't. colorblind. Colorblind. Yeah. See? Is, is John? I don't know. I can print out from my computer this if you would. Like. No, no. All right, so. Wow.